My name is Ben Bateman. I'm here for Red Carpet Report. So, uh, gentlemen, two leather jackets. You guys are looking fly, absolutely. And uh, the first question I want to give you guys is, in this climate that we're in right now, the word diversity is used a lot in casting. Do you feel that's accurate? Do you think that the motion pictures we're seeing do reflect that, or do you think it's a buzzword? It can always be better. I mean, yes, we're doing it, you know, and uh, it's getting uh, better and better all the time. Um, you know, I haven't seen so many uh, leading characters in, in films, um, you know, since the time I began. Yeah. It's way back in the day. <laughs> uh. No, but so I am very, uh, very happy to see where it's going. But it can always, it can be better. Always. Uh, Mike, these days staying in superhero shape, mm -hmm. is it harder than it was a couple of years ago for you? Um, it's all about discipline. I think they say most of your stuff is done in the kitchen anyway. If you can stay away from the fridge, you'll be okay. Um, yeah. That being said, you know, I just had a half an oatmeal cookie, and I'm, and I'm, re I'm rethinking that right now. Oh, no, you're feeling guilty? Uh, you know what it is? You know, you're tired, you need, you need a little pick-me-up, and that sugar, you go, oh, I would mind a little bit of sugar. Yeah. So um, so I, I fall sometimes, you know, but I also was talking to him, and we talked about, you know, vegan diets and vegetarian diets and trying to, you know, yeah. eat things that actually don't require so much digestion, so I don't want to get too off topic here, but yeah, we're, we're always thinking about, you know, <laughs> the way we look, what can we, what can we do? <laughs> uh, the, the movie is very inspiring, and I know your character is kind of from the eyes of the non-believer, that's mm -hmm. kind of the point. Did either of your uh, commitment to the idea of inspiration or faith change through the process of working on this film? Did you feel more inspired by the end of it? Uh, you know what, I could safely say is more inspired, Sure. Um, but I've always been pretty inspired, you know, I've always been a man of faith. Um, but to you know to be a part of a true story, and to you know to act in it, and to uh, and see how the characters develop, and see how this this young man lying in this bed came from being you know written off as dead, and then to get up and have absolutely nothing wrong with him, no side effects. That's incredible. Yeah. Dennis, this is a question I've always wanted to ask you. Heat is one of my favorite films ever made. Oh, bless you. And there's this incredible, mine too. There's this incredible moment. Uh, you're at your end of the first day of work, and Lily asks you if you're going to be able to handle this job. And you look at her and you say, there's not a hard time invented that I cannot handle. And you right. give it in this like Shakespearean sort of delivery. And I've always wondered, was that a choice? It was so, so specific to that moment. Well, I was about three sheets to the wind at that point. Okay. I mean, I, I was, that's the first time I've ever drank on set in a scene, uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, and it was only one, but it was enough to generate this feeling of invincibility. It, well, oh. not invincibility, but you know, I was feeling sorry for myself. And then she she hits me with that line, yeah. and I said, you know what? Ain't nothing, you know, there's been nothing stop me. Yeah, you know. So I was determined. I was determined for her, and which makes that character all the more tragic when he uh, when he finally. You know, falls. Yeah. That uh, you know that he succumbs to the temptations of, uh, you know, of my man. You know, yeah. you can't say no to De Niro, right? Yeah, Neil, man, <laughs> brings you back in. Ah, oh, right. it's so heartbreaking. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, but that's man. I, I I love that story. I'll tell you one little thing about that. I know it's off topic. Yeah. That says no matter if I'm watching um, television, yeah. and that movie comes on, I turn the channel. No matter where it is in that uh, movie whether it's the first five minutes or the last five minutes, I gotta finish it. Yeah. I'm the same way, I'm yeah. the same way. It's in my top five, I think it's my fifth favorite film of all time, so that brings me to my last question. Mm -hmm. Do either of you know invariably a top three movie of all time for you that you would watch any time, any day? Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, Boogie Nights. That's my second favorite film of all time. Really? I think we just became best Nights? friends, the oh, three boy. of us. That's how I feel right now. Boogie now. Nights <laughs> is in there, but it's, it's not. A, I wouldn't say it's my top three, but it's definitely, definitely in my top 10. But uh, you know, Godfather One, yeah. well, it's, 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 Godfather yeah. Two, yeah, can't okay. beat them. And Heat, they're so yeah. good. They're so yeah. good. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. All right.